All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to yet another mod review. Today, we are looking at a very special mod that I feel like is one of, if not the best mod in Minecraft history. Now, I might be going a little, little overboard, might be a little biased, but we're looking at Moshe's today. It is a mod that has been out for over eight years, and has received continuous updates from a man or woman named Prophet Orange. As of right now, it is at 1.16.5, version 1.92. And it has, I believe it adds over 2,000 items. Might be a little wrong, but it includes armors, a couple mobs, mostly blocks, a few ores, and yeah. Some new items, some new tools, everything. Everything you can imagine is here. So let's start with the armors. So you see, you got amethyst, aquamarine, bacon, uh, blaze, brick, bronze, coal, cobalt, copper, dirt, emerald, prismarine, endstone, glass, uh, glowstone, hellfire, ice. Jade, Lila, Lapis, Mithril, Moon, Neridium, Netherstar, Obsidian, Onyx, Blaze, Pyridium, Redstone, Ruby, Sandstone, Red Sandstone, Sapphire, Scarlet Emerald, Silver, Steel, Tin, Titanium, uh, trio, uranium, W, white opal, flint, tungsten, and tanzanite. Now all item, all tools will have the the same uh, ore, so I'm not gonna go over them. This is also got a few uh, horse armors. You got netherite, amethyst. Blaze, Coal, Cobalt, Emerald, Lila, Neridium, Onyx, Platinum, Prismarine, Peridium, uh, Ruby, Scarlet Emerald, Steel, Titanium, Lila, and the Calm Elytra. And now that's that's a lot all on its own. We've also got over here, we got blocks for each of the big ores. Uh, let's go on. You see, you got Amazon, Amazonite, Amethyst, Aquamarine, Black Diamond, Blaze, Bronze, Chromite, Citrine, Cobalt, Copper, Demonite, Flint, you yeah, know, look like Flint, Snow, Jade, Jet, Mithril, Olivine, Onyx, Opal, Platinum, Quartz, Ruby, Sapphire, Scarlet Emerald, Silver, steel, tanzanite, uh, tin, titanium, trio, topaz, turquoise, uranium, white opal, neridium, pyridium, linium, void steel, and phthalate. This mod also adds two new stones that act that work like granite, diorite, and site. You got both. Uh, Oops, we got limestone and marble. Along with all the brick forms and their walls and slabs. Then you've got all the ores right here. <laughs> Let me find that. <laughs> I believe it's this is citrine. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh so these are all the ores. And then you have all the fences and their types. You've got all the stairs.
slabs. Vertical slabs. And that's it. So then we got snow bricks, iron through diamond stairs, um, maple and the maple tree. Uh, this is no, no, wait, is it? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, this is maple. Right, so you got all this maple. You got cherry. Then you got silver bell, which you might see this a lot in your world if you use this mod. This is a very common tree. Then you got Willow, which you can probably find in swamps, I'm assuming. Tiger Wood. Which is this supposed to be the isn't it Tiger Wood? Yeah, this is Tiger Wood. And Willow. I don't know where <laughs> Yeah, here's the Willow. I don't know why it hasn't grown. How about I'll grab it real quick on. Okay, it doesn't seem to want to cooperate for some reason. Very okay. Then you got glow wood and the tree. You got uh, hell wood, right? Yep. Hell wood and the tree. Um, this is so hell wood. Then you got some bamboo. This is made from bamboo. Glass door, iron bar door, specific type of grass, and the, and two mushrooms. Uh, glow wood crafting table. Uh, this is soul glass because you have soul sand. Nether grass or nether dirt. You got all these types of buttons, all these types of pressure plates. You got a glass cutter, a table saw, and this chest. And we got some stripped woods and logs and uh, yeah. Uh, then we got some new cakes. This is carrot cake. This is apple cake. This is 10 year anniversary cake. This is cookie cake. This is chocolate. This is redstone. This is golden carrot. This is slime. This is strawberry. This is magma cream. This is golden apple. This is sweet berry. This is raspberry and this is honey. You got, you got this uh, ice slime block, which is gotten from a mob, which I'll show you in a minute. Wall candle. Multicolor barrels, by the way. Very nice looking. Uh, you got tungsten. The tungsten ore. The W ore. This is a big W, not gonna lie. Got tungsten and W. Lava sponge, which you can use for lava. The foul light torch. Nether reeds, which are like uh, uh, sugar cane. And they got all these ores. All these ores and their sorry ingots and their nuggets and stuff. You got redstone rods, uh, wither bones, glow wood sticks. So already you've seen a lot of stuff. There is this mod adds in a ton so far. You have anything, guys? This is barely any of it yet. This might cover like maybe a quarter. This mod is gigantic. Larger than most any mod that I've ever played. And that's what makes me love it so much. Got some more minerals. And nuggets. Let me skip ahead here. You got some foods. We got bacon. Beef sandwich, biscuit, bread and butter, bread slice, brownie, burger, butter, car caramel, caramel apple, caramel pancake, cheese sandwich, cheese, chicken nugget, chicken sandwich, chicken soup, corn cob, diamond bread, fish sandwich, fish soup, flour, fries, golden bread, iron bread, lettuce, onion, pancake, pizza, pork sandwich, raspberry, rice, Strawberry, toast, tomato, nether apple, glow stew, cannabis, maple syrup, emerald bread, the golden potato, corn seeds, lettuce seeds, onion seeds, raspberry seeds, 
all of those types of seeds. Glow and bowl, nether charcoal, wither rod, and then you got all these tulips, which you can actually grow. You got an iridium arrow and an aquamarine arrow. Ice, then you got the three mobs, and then you got icy slime bowl. Alright, we're going to move over here to the three new mobs. Now you've got, first off, the ice slime can come in multiple different sizes. You've got the nether chicken. Look at him. Adorable little thing. And then you've got the nether spider. Just so you know, this does not work. This spider does not like to work with the uh, spiders 2.0. Give you a heads up there. Then you've got four brand new music discs. Which I'm, I'm going to get copyrighted for this. What am I doing anyway? First up is Voxel's Press Any Key. Free time. Next is the USSR anthem. Anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, next up is Vitality. So yeah, that's my talent. And last but not least, you also have ice. I will say I'm a personal fan of this one. I'm gonna let that play. And what I said that this mod has a ton of tools. I'm gonna be quiet for a minute. Just look at this. Are you catching on yet? In the kitchen up. Can you see where I'm going with this? Oops. Yep, I'm just, we're just gonna keep going. Yep, I'm pretty sure you've already caught on. I've done this for already, like, probably solid minute. You've probably caught on to it by now. But I'm gonna keep doing it to you, because why not? So 
Let's get around to it. That's a lot of tools. It also adds two brand new tools for a quick which I'll cover because the chances of me forgetting this are very high. So I'm going to go and uh, survive real quick. So you see, we've got excavators and hammers. So that was in a different, different view. So this, as you see, this is basically extreme shovel. So you, without holding shift, you break three by three, usually. And if you hold, if you hold shift down, you only break one block. Then you got hammers. Can you guess what hammers do? They break a bunch of blocks. And as you see, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just making quick work of this. It only works on. Uh, so you could easily just go ahead and do two different mines at once. It works on modded ores too, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I think you got it. You see, it's durability ain't even that bad. I mean, you can enchant it with mending or breaking. This speeds up a lot of the work for you. Final part of the mod. You thought we were done there? No. It adds so many different variants of pre existing blocks. You've got stone pavement, which is new. You've got multicolor logs. Every bedrock player's wet dream here. You've got multicolored fences, stairs, pressure, pressure, pressure plates, too. Fence gates, slabs. Trap door. You got now. Okay, oh, whoops. Now you've got stained glass trap doors, stained glass doors, slabs, stairs, and then you got a few random ones in here. You got regular glass, you got glowstone, netherite. And then you've got many vertical slabs. And then you've got multicolored redstone lamps, thank god, finally, thank you. Then, you've got multicolored sands. That's right, multicolored sand, multicolored cobblestone. And the vertical slabs, of course, you can't forget vertical slabs. And their stairs, no, how silly of me to forget that. And their slabs, wow, I'm just off today. Then you've got all the different colored and regular stones. Got some more slabs here, it seems. A oh, random slab, I don't know why. Very random. Anyway, then you got all these stones, vertical slabs, fences, or sorry, walls, stairs, slabs. And then, my, what, this is my favorite, one of my favorite parts of this mod multi colored stone bricks. And vertical slabs, and walls, and stairs. That man's just watching him. He's just watching him. <laughs> Anywho, we got slabs. Don't worry about that village. Uh, cobblestone walls and multicolored. They've got decorated bricks and a site. Diorite, granite, uh, snow, no, quartz, whoops, quartz, red st handstone, sandstone, uh, these are stone bricks, yep, and then you got the vertical slabs of wood, stones, concretes, wool, terracotta, and yeah, and this goes on. This part goes on for what feels like ever. Because all your favorite multicolored blocks in slab and, and uh, 
slab, fence. You even got walls. Have you ever built wanted to build a giant red terracotta wall? No, you can't. You got some plates. Are those plates? Are these plates? That's weird. You got all these plates. They got a, a red nether brick fence. Diamond through redstone. You got some glowstone nether rack walls. The vertical slabs, of course. And you got these buttons, stained glass buttons, which use the old door opening sound. Turn. So I told them I was surprised that the only thing that isn't in here are colored glowstone. It's very weird, just colored glowstone. They've got the tulips that you can grow, pretty sure. We're listening in some more vertical slabs. Some the basalt edition. And then you got these pillars, which look amazing, in my opinion. The only thing is that you gotta. If you want to make like a cool little light, like hold on, let me grab a like you know, glowstone, make make multicolored glowstone, please. If you're watching this, please. Yeah, I mean that doesn't look amazing, but it certainly looks better than what you could probably do with fences. So you got pillars and all these forms of wool and. Then you've got stained torches. When well, they got torches, but you don't got um, uh, you got torches, but you don't get glowstone. Very weird. Hope hopefully he can do that in a later version of motions. That would be very much appreciated for me personally. But yeah, I mean that's pretty much everything I believe. Might be missing a few things that are hidden in like the slash give command, but looking JEI, it's looking just enough items. Look at all this. Scroll on these pages, there's so much. Oh, yeah! Whoops, whoops, hold on. I forgot, they did add a couple things. They added haste potions, which you can make from red, just redstone dust. They added ice aspect, swift hands, life steal. Width, height, uh, uh, aquatic archer, which I don't know if that's finished. Torches, they got flesh potions, arrows, and lingering potions of haste. I almost forgot that part. Uh, well, apart from that, that's pretty much everything that the mod adds. The only there's only one more thing left, and you probably saw it earlier in the video when I accidentally did. They added basically a zoom. If you want to use like sodium or halogen any kind of performance mod, but you don't want to use Optifine, well, this mod has a zoom built right into it. I'll get right back to spawn real quick, so it'd be a bit easier to show. Also, if you've seen me crawl or anything, it's because I'm mostly using the personality mod, which I'll make a quick video on that, maybe like tomorrow or so. It's also one of the best mods, in my opinion. So if you go to options, in here, uh, in controls, you scroll down a little bit, you'll see Moshe's key mappings. Now that he might add more to this in the future, but as of right now, there's Zoom. And in my opinion, that's about as important. You can change it, boom, hold, you can hold it, look around. Woo, look at that, speed. But yeah, you can actually zoom in which I feel like is amazing but yeah I mean that's basically my favorite mod this is my favorite mod it's probably not going to get overtaken by anything and this mod it's it's just my favorite um, if you're wondering the download links in the description below you can leave a nice comment or report an issue if you want to uh to profit orange himself uh 
And yeah, I can't wait to see this project go even further. I even asked him if he's going to continue supporting 1.16, and it made me exceptionally happy that it, that he is likely to continue supporting 1.16. As of right now, one point, uh, version 1.93 is in uh, is in development, and a 1.17.1 port is likely to happen sooner than later. He didn't give any ETAs, but I mean, come on, can anyone really give any ETAs? I think it also does this. I think this is also a feature of the mod. Because I don't remember you being able to just right-click on the farms. I thought that was a quirk thing. Oh well. If you enjoyed this video, smack a like on, on the video, hit subscribe, and tell me if there's any mods that you want me to review. And if I like them, I'll do them. If I don't like them, I might do them. It just depends. I don't really like them whole lot of months. But anyway, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.